Hello, it's Elder here. I uh, recently wrote an article on top 10 reasons why you may want to consider having a contractor's trash bag with you in your go bags and survival kits. What got me thinking about this topic was an article that I read in March of 2017 about a hiker and uh, a skilled hiker who was out in New Hampshire out uh, at a state park and he ended up getting dis disoriented and ended up having to hunker down for the night in the state park. And there happened to be freezing temperatures uh, going on during that season. Now he credits his survival to packing on dry clothes that he had brought with him, a poncho, and the interesting part was a contractor's trash bag. So I spent a uh, number of years in scouting both as a scout and as an adult leader. And I also spent some time in the United States Marine Corps. And with uh, both of these scenarios or organizations, I remember utilizing a contractor's trash bag for a plethora of reasons. And it just got me thinking and it just kind of hit home when I uh, read this article. And I started thinking to myself, why don't you carry these contractor trash bags with you in your own kits and survival bags. So I kind of went through my gear and started thinking, what purpose would a contractor's trash bag serve that a lot of my gear might not? We know that a contractor trash bag is super lightweight, uh, easy to access. You probably have a box of them in your home right now. Uh, and they're also incredibly lightweight. So what I want to do with you right now is to share with you my top 10 reasons why I now include various contractors trash bags in all of my go bags and survival kits. So let's get started. So the first purpose I want to discuss is to utilize the contractor trash bag as a shelter or an outer garment. We already know from the hiker's experience that I discussed earlier that he was able to survive out the night in frigid temperatures, freezing temperatures, uh, just by utilizing some dry clothing, poncho, and the contractor's trash bag. So once again, he had some insulation in there, being able to protect them from the elements, and he was able to bode well. Uh, in a pinch, we could stuff it with leaves, other dry vegetation, in order to give us a little bit more of that insulation. And we're talking about freezing temperatures. If you're not dealing with uh, freezing temperatures, you even have more versatility uh, with the actual contractor's trash bag. A poncho. Now, I'm, not, I'm sure I'm not the first person to bring uh, utilizing a trash bag to your, as a poncho to your attention. And I'm sure you've seen various people do this at stadiums or in a pinch or whatever the case may be. But keep in mind that with a contractor's trash bag, it's built for a contractor. So it's built more rugged and uh, won't permeate the water or the rain as much as a standard, let's say, kitchen um, trash bag would. So once again, utilizing that contractor's trash bag as a poncho it will give you much more protection than a uh, standard trash bag. A ground cloth. Uh, once again, whether you're utilizing it with a tent, whether you are utilizing it just with your uh, regular sleeping bag or a ranger roll or whatever you choose to carry out there with you in the field, once again, not only will it protect your equipment from rocks and stones and everything else underneath, but uh, if you're anything like me, I end up sleeping very hot and I end up drawing moisture from the ground. And many times, especially earlier on in my career, I would wake up with the bottom of my uh, sleeping bag drenched from all that moisture that I was pulling from the ground. Uh, so once again, utilizing a contractor's uh, trash bag for that purpose of a ground cloth uh, could definitely work very well in a pinch. Backup carrying equipment. So basically a backup pack. Now, we invest in packs and high-end gear, but even the best stuff out there and the most high-speed and expensive packs out there can fail. It can be a manufacturer's defect. It could be uh, just wear and tear that you've had over the years and never really repaired it. And you might end up uh, losing that carrying equipment while you're out there in the middle of a field, especially during an emergency scenario. That's not something that you want to happen. So being able to utilize this trash bag empty the contents of your pack or even your pack altogether, throw it in there, you'll be able to carry the equipment that you brought with you. Once again, it's not ideal because you might have to bear hug it a while, but your other alternative is to leave your gear out in the field. 
which is obviously not an option. As a rain fly or sunshade, because once again of its sturdy construction as far as the contractor's trash bag, you're able to once again be protected from the water because it's not really going to permeate as long as it's set up correctly. And once again, on those hot summer days or hot climates, depending on where you end up or even where you live, uh, being able to get a little bit of relief from the sun by setting up your own shade uh, is definitely something that's, uh, that's a viable application for a contractor's trash bag. Uh, as you can tell, even for my dogs, if I have my own shading, but we're not, we can't all fit under the same thing, I'm able to go ahead and utilize the trash bag in a pinch and give them their must, much needed uh, shade that they would need so that they could relax and uh, get some R&R. &R. For water gathering, now I have hydration packs that I keep in my go bags, uh, water bottles, and as I'm out on the trail, when I come around some uh, body of water, I can go ahead, gather it up into the devices that I'm carrying with me, water pur purify them right there on the spot. But there's other times where I might come across a water, a water, uh, a place where I could gather water, and might not be able to come across another one for miles, especially in an emergency situation where we might not be familiar with the terrain that we're operating in. So being able to utilize my contractor's trash bag to gather this excess water, whether it is for cooking back at base camp, whether it's just other water that I can have to be able to purify later, whether it's water that I'm utilizing to wash my clothes, my clothes uh, it's definitely something that can gather water and gather a lot of it. So that's one use that's uh, often overlooked that, uh, that I feel is once again a very viable application for the contractor's trash bag. As a beer bag, now uh, those of us that spend a lot of time in the field, you uh, always come across a bunch of different critters and if you're in bear country, anything from toothpaste to, to soap, uh, let alone your food sources, these critters and bears can smell it miles away. So they're probably going to come and find it, especially if they're hungry. So being able to utilize, once again, because of its sturdy construction, being able to put all of my stuff that might appeal to critters or to bears into this trash bag, being able to either ziplock it up or tighten it up and hang it far and away from a tree and not too close to my base camp, that'll bode much better for me not only staying safe and not being attacked by these critters, but also not losing my gear and much needed food uh, while we're out there, especially in an emergency situation. As a flotation device, in an emergency situation, you might be come across a body of water that you need to wade across, well, both you and all of your gear. And being able to have something as a backup that can make that process easier by aiding you as a flotation device, just by filling it up with air, tying it off with a knot or a twisty tie or whatever you have on you, some 550 cord, and using that buoyancy to help you accomplish your mission that much easier. Uh, also, any type of spear fishing where you're out there in the water and you need to uh, hang something from it, whether it's your bait, whether it's other gear, it's nice to be able to know that you have that ability to make your own little flotation device in a pinch that's going to facilitate the task that you have at hand. As a dry bag or a liner. Now I carry a couple dry bags with me in my standard go bags, but they're small. So there's only certain items that I keep in there. Some of them are just for electronics, other for dirty laundry or maybe food, things of that nature. But if I had to move out in a downpour, uh, I'd be a little bit worried about the rest of the contents of my ruck uh, getting uh, soaked or getting wet and becoming unserviceable. With something the size of a contractor's uh, trash bag, it's huge. You can go ahead, dump all your contents of your ruck into the contractor's trash bag, place that inside of your ruck, seal it up, and you know that you're good to go and protected from the elements. So bottom line, there are countless applications for a contractor's trash bag. I just named a few of them uh, for the purpose of this article and the purpose of this video. Speaking of the article, make sure that you go ahead and go to coachhelder.com and view the article and uh, take a quick read because I have a lot more detailed information in the article than I actually do in this video. I wanted to make this video uh, an accompaniment for the article, so I wanted to try to be as brief as possible. So hopefully I've given you a few reasons uh, that you might want to consider adding a contractor's trash bag to your kit. Uh, once again, I'm sure while you're out there, even recreationally, you're going to find many other applications that I didn't mention in this article for the contractor's trash bag. Once again, this is Helder. I hope that you found this information useful.